Jennifer. We're here for improving your balance. We'll be here for 45 minutes. For today's class, you'll definitely need a chair, uh, shoes on your feet, and something you can move around with your foot. I have a paper bowl. You could use a paper plate, um, a yoga block, um, a napkin, uh, a, a hand towel, things like that would work just fine. We're going to be working a little bit with our hips, loosening up in the hip joint, and we'll be doing some more with our arms. So of course we're here for improving your balance, so what we're going to be doing related to balance has a lot to do with strengthening our legs and strengthening our core. What's really important with balance that we often forget about is our breathing techniques. So when we focus on our breathing, we become more aware of our breathing for our body. And in that way, we help ourselves to calm down and regulate ourselves a little bit more. So we'll be starting out with a breathing exercise. So let's get started today. Have a seat all the way into the back of your chair. Lift your spine up nice and tall against the backrest. Slide your feet slightly out in front of your knees so that they land flat on the floor. Broaden across your shoulders. Deep breath in through the top of your head. Exhale out your mouth. Allow your eyelids to lower downward. Breathing in and out here, nice and slowly. Notice how you are feeling on this morning. And bring your mind to focus on your breath. Notice the breath as it comes in through your nose and travels out through your mouth. Watch the breath as it comes into your lungs and expands every air sac in your lungs. Squeeze the diaphragm as you press out the breath. Inhale, fill the side ribs. Exhale, squeeze the belly. We're going to do a breathing exercise this morning where I'm going to invite you to expand the capacity of your breath, both in and out. So what we'll do is we'll have a rhythm to count out the breath. And we're going to start by breathing in only a couple breaths in and out, and then we'll expand it by one every time. Okay? So we'll start by breathing in for three and out for three. Then we'll expand it, breathing in for four and out for four, going to five and six. And we'll stop at eight, then we'll come back down. Okay? So if at any time the breathing becomes uncomfortable for you, stop doing that and just come to an easy, comfortable breath for your own body, all right? So continue with this structured seat. So the feet are on the floor. We're pressing into our feet and our back is lifted nice and tall. Shoulders are broad. Hands can rest in your lap, up or down. Take a deep breath in and out to get started. And begin to count in for three, out for three, going to four, out, and five, out, six. And 
to 8. Eight again. Out. Seven. Out. Six. Out. Three. Out. And release. Okay. Notice if you're feeling a little lightheaded. Close your eyes and lower your chin downward toward your chest, looking for length in the back of your neck. Inhale, roll your head to the left, extending your left ear over your left shoulder. Drop your right fingers down toward the floor and squeeze and open your fist a few times. Twinkle your fingers out and around. Now make a fist and draw a circle with your wrist going around and around. Reverse direction with your wrist. And begin to nod your head a little bit on the side over here. It's a little tricky to do both, isn't it? Release your hand, roll your chin to your chest, and go to the other side. Roll over so that your right ear hangs over your right shoulder. Release your left fingers down by your side. Twinkle your fingers around. Squeeze and open your fists. And begin to circle your wrist around a few times in each direction. As you circle your wrist, begin to gently nod your head a little forward and backward. And release, hands to your lap, chin to your chest. Sit up straight this time, away from your backrest, and scooch toward the middle of your chair. We're gonna drop both arms down beside us and start with deep breathing. Inhale, arms out and up. Reach fingers up toward the sky, maybe tapping your fingers to each other. Exhaling, release your arms down by your sides. Continue like this. Option to move your head if you like, looking up, and looking down. As we go through these arm motions, press your feet into the floor, engage through your belly, and lift your spine as tall as you can. One more like this, reaching up and reaching down. All right, place your right hand to the chair, lift your left arm up, Flip your palm to face the other side and tip over toward your right. Drop your right shoulder away from your ear. Press your feet down. Squeeze your belly in and lift up. If it's comfortable to you, release your right arm and let it dangle and reach toward the floor. Big inhales, fill your side body. Let's trade sides. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release your arm down. Left hand holds onto the side of your chair. Right arm reaches out and up. Palm faces the left. Exhale, tip sideways toward your left. Allow your left shoulder to drop away from your ear. Press your feet to the floor. Pull in on your abdominals and lift up tall. 
Expanding breath into the right side ribs. Feel free to release your left fingers down toward the floor. Let's come back up. Inhale. Exhale. Release your arm down. All right. Let your arms hang below your shoulders and rotate at the shoulder and shake your arms out. Okay, let's get a little more movement. Scoot to the very front of your chair. Make sure you're sitting firmly enough that your chair's not gonna slide out from behind you. Press your feet down into the floor. Let your arms dangle beside you and roll your shoulders up and around the back. Roll them forward, up and around the back. <sighs> Allow your breath to follow you around through these motions. Circling with the shoulders, big giant circles. One more please, up and around. All right, let's try the other direction. Don't forget to keep pressing your feet down and holding on in your belly. Feel like you're squeezing into the middle, muscle to the bone, pulling into the spine, lifting up as tall as you can. Now we're gonna take the shoulders around the back. As we go through these shoulder shrugs, notice the stretching open of the muscles on the back and the front, and the contracting of the muscles on the back and the front. And release, shake your arms out. Okay. All right, let's place the hands on top of the thighs, and we're gonna do a little strong marching. Okay, so this one is for the legs as well as for our core. So to get started, your feet are planted firmly to the ground. Your palms are on top of your thighs. Press your hands down into your thighs and right away as you press feet and hands, you should feel your front belly engage. So make sure you're holding on this area in the front, squeezing it in toward the spine, all right? Here we go. Lift your leg up one at a time, alternate that marching. As you do that, add as much pressure as you like with your hands, okay? This action is gonna engage and strengthen your belly muscles and your back muscles. Do you feel that? Are you breathing? Still smiling? All right, relax. This time we're gonna loosen out that hip socket by opening the knees, open and shut. Charleston. Let your ankles roll as well as you do this. Now you have the option to add on your arms when we Charleston, right? So that always gets people confused in my class. So when your knees are together, crisscross so your hands catch opposite knees. Keep your hands there, then open and shut your knees. Uncross your hands and open and shut your knees. Recross, but put the other wrist on the top, open and shut your knees. Uncross open and shut, cross, open and shut, uncross, open and shut. Feel free to not use your arms, it works just fine. If you are using your arms, you'll notice a really nice stretch across your upper back. Okay, all right, let's release that. Take your feet this time a little wider than your hips and hands are gonna come onto the knees. This time we're gonna take circles of the torso going around and around our pelvis, okay? While we do this, we wanna be sure of a couple things. We wanna keep pressing our feet down into the floor. We wanna use our hands for support without bringing our shoulders into our ears. So take care that you drop and relax your elbows and shoulders. As you press your feet, engage through your belly, squeezing in and lifting up. Let's go around, take a breath in, breathe out, lean toward one knee, circle around the front, and go toward the back rest of your chair, making a big circle going around. Press your feet, try to keep your knees over your ankles. They're gonna wanna slide around and be sloppy. Don't let them be sloppy. Engaging your core, squeezing your belly, building strength in your torso. One more time here. 
and back to the middle. All right, we're gonna try that in reverse. So this time I'll give you the option to change your arm position. With your hands on your knees, you can anchor yourself and support yourself, which will help you to protect your lower back if you have any lower back issues. If you feel strong and safe in your lower back and you want to try something different, take your hands and interlace them in front of you. Then we're going to imagine we've got a big broom and we're stirring a big witch's pot. And as we go the opposite direction, we'll reach out and around, and we bring that with us as we lean to the back. So you can tell already if you're trying this option, it requires a lot more core strength. Don't forget your breath. Anchor your feet. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go one more of these all the way around. Back to the center. Okay. Let's take a forward fold to relax out of that. The feet are under the knees. Take a breath in here. Breathing out, slide to your elbows. Lean forward. This is a halfway fold. This might be where you stop today. You decide. Okay. So with the knees over ankles and elbows on the knees, take care the front of the body doesn't fall down in between your legs. Pull it up strongly, holding it away from the floor. Think about length, tailbone to crown of head. Can you get really strong and long? All right, option to keep going a little further down. If you're going further, take care your back doesn't round in order to get you further. You want to lean and continue that long spine. Of course, make sure you're not going to fall out the front or tip your chair over. Scoot your tush back as much as you need to. Leaning forward, stretching through your lower back as you drop down. Before you come up, engage your abdominal muscles. Look forward, lengthen your spine. Walk up your legs with your hands. Walk yourself back up to seated. Okay, how are you feeling? Let's have a seat into the back rest of your chair. I'm gonna grab a drink of water. I just splashed my water all over my face. <laughs> okay, so let's add a little twisting here. Uh, seated in your chair, let's take cross legs. So, one thigh over the other as if you were wearing a dress. You would cross your thighs over each other. If that's not comfortable for you, extend one leg and cross at the ankle or somewhere up the shin, okay? You decide where that works for your body. Okay. Once you're here, we're gonna rotate the chest in the direction of the leg that's on top. So I have my left leg on top, so I'm gonna turn my chest to the left, okay? Take your left arm out of the way, maybe wrap it around the backrest of your chair or let it dangle beside or behind you. Your opposite arm, my right arm, can cross at the knee and give me a little anchor here. So as I twist deeper, I'm going to sit really tall and I'm going to use the muscles around my core and my ribs to pull me to the left. Instead of my arms, I'm not going to use my arms to pull me. I'm going to use my middle muscles to, to pull me around. Now let's add on a little sideways stretch. The arm that's behind you, my left arm, I'm going to reach it up into the sky. Now I'm going to tip over toward my knee that's in the front. I might not go very far, and that's okay. Just try to find a little extension here in the spine and a stretch in your back. One more breath in, 
and out. Sit up tall, relax your arm down and return to the center. All right, uncross your legs and we'll try the other side. Cross your other thigh on top. Now again, just like I said before, if your thighs don't cross, straighten your bottom leg and cross your ankle. That will work just fine. Inhale to sit tall, rotate toward that leg. Okay, so I'm going toward my right side this time. The arm that's behind you, just try to get it out of the way, let it dangle. Use your core muscles to turn you around. Deep breath in, deep breath out. The arm in the back, my right arm is gonna raise up to the sky, then I'll tip sideways a little bit towards my thigh, towards my top knee. Don't push this. Pull in the belly and lift straight up. Once you get nice and tall, think about dropping your front shoulder a little. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale to the center. Okay, let's come to center. All right, let's do another leg exercise for strength. You're gonna kick your straight leg forward. So lift up your bent knee, kick your heel forward, bend your knee again, and put it down. We'll alternate legs. Lift your knee up, kick it forward, bend it again, and put it down. All right, so option. If you want to use the other arm, punch it forward. Just an option. No need to go quickly. So this one gets a little tricky when we add all the pieces in. Let's remember our basics. We're breathing. <laughs> You're pressing your foot to the floor. You're engaging in your core muscles. Strong in the front, strong in the back. Let's do one more on each side. Okay, release. All right, how does that feel? Get a little loose in your middle. And let's take some cat and cow seated. You're gonna round back and arch forward. Round back, arch forward. Round back and arch forward. All right, very nice. So let's take a stretch for the thighs before we stand up. Drop one knee, you're gonna pivot on your toe and drop your knee toward the floor, then come back up. So I've got my feet started in a very wide V and knees are spread apart. Lift your heel, pivot on your toe and drop your knee to the center. It's gonna roll around this hip socket right here. And come back up. Drop it in. So again, you have the option to add an arm, punching it out if you would like. All right, okay, release, come back to the middle. So to get started for standing up, let's do some heel and toe raises Rock forward and backward on your feet. Lift your heels so you tighten up your calf muscles. Rock onto your heels and lift your toes so you tighten up the fronts of your shins. Back and forth. Okay, now standing up practice. Come toward the front of your chair. Bring your knees forward of your ankles just a little bit by sliding your feet behind a little. You should have a sharp angle here. And as you lean forward, you begin to shift the weight from your chair onto your feet. Okay. From your chair onto your feet. Press down into your feet. Squeeze your quads. Squeeze your glutes. If this aggravates your knees, don't bother with going up and down. Just get up. All right, we're on our way to standing. So, 
rotate your chair to the side and come to stand beside your chair. I'm holding on with my right hand to get started if you want to do the same as me. So now that we're standing up, you'll have your feet hips width distance apart and you'll lift up and down on your toes. Up and down. Raise the heels up and down. All right, let's do the opposite. Raise your toes up and down. Are you still breathing? Notice when you raise your toes, do you also poke your bum out the back? Try to raise your toes while standing straight up and down. Yeah, okay. All right, we're gonna tap the toes out the front. If you have a, a bowl or a block or a book or a napkin, whatever you got, whatever you have with you, whatever you went to get, go ahead and bring that out in front of you and use that as your goal to tap. Remember our basics. You're pressing down on the leg you're standing on. You're engaged in the middle and you're lifting tall up through the top of your head. Feel free to hold on as much as you need. Take your gaze across the horizon. When you look at the floor, you tend to roll your head and shoulders downward. We want to stand tall instead. Okay? Nice work. Good job. So we're going to add on to this. Holding on to your chair, we're going to start with that marching that we did before when we were seated. Okay, as you're marching, same principles apply. You're pressing down into the foot that's on the floor. You're lifting tall up through your torso. You're gazing across the horizon, breathing and smiling. Now let's add that toe tap. Lift your bent knee, reach out and tap your toe onto your object that you brought with you. Bend it up again and put it back down beside your other foot. No need to go quickly. The slower you go, the more balance is required. Please remember to breathe. Hands on the chair, optional. If you'd like to add a little arm movement, go ahead and reach for the sky as you tap your toe. Take the breathing nice and smooth. I'm doing a full inhale on one leg and the full exhale on the other leg. All right. How does that feel? Did you like that one? Shake out your legs. Let's take some ankle rolls now. I'm gonna stand and face my chair. I put the top of my toe to the floor, then I circle my ankle around and around. My cat is coming to visit. All right, now tap your toe behind you and your heel in front of you, back and forth. Tap your toe, straighten your leg, and tap your heel, back and forth. While we do this, Give this a try. Hands to your hips. Maybe interlace your fingers behind you. Strong on one leg, press down to the floor. Squeeze in your belly. Lift tall through the top of your head. Nice work, okay, you can shake that out. I'm gonna turn around to the other side. All right, while we face the chair, Toe on the top of the floor, circle your ankle around a few times in each direction. Reverse the direction. Now tap your toe behind, then flex the ankle and tap your heel in front. Back and forth, back and forth. Tap and behind, tap in the front. 
Option to bring your hands to your hips or to interlace your hands behind you. Tighten up the quadriceps when you press your heel in the front. Tap the toe and back, squeeze your push. Nice job. Okay, release that and shake out your legs. Okay, we're gonna try a silly walk this time. I'm gonna move my chair out of the way along with my bowl. So this silly walk is gonna roll from the heel to the toe and flick off the front of your toe, okay? So you don't have to walk on a tight rope. You can keep your feet parallel to each other just as they normally are when you walk. I want you to pay attention to a few things. When you're moving one leg around to step, the other leg is nice and strong. So as you roll, pay attention to how the weight shifts on your foot. Then get strong on the next leg as you bring the leg up from the back, pull it around the front and drop your heel. Roll onto that foot, lift the leg up in the back and out the front, okay? Focus your weight, heel to toe, Bring your leg all the way through. Try to stand firmly on one leg until you land your heel. Then roll to the next foot. Once you get up to the front of your space, we're gonna go backward and you're gonna roll toe to heel. Whee! Lift your leg in front, stretch your leg out behind and land on your toe. From there, shift the weight toe to heel and the front leg is gonna flex. As your toe comes up, your heel's on the floor and you have a nice strong thigh muscle. Lift that straight leg up, reach your toes back, roll through and lift the other toes up, okay? Lift, bend, reach it behind and roll. Okay, try that again, lift, Bend, reach behind, and roll. How are you doing? I wish I could see you all. And release, shake that out. Okay, let's make hip circles here. We've got our feet spread out a little wider than our hips. Hands can come to your hips or your waist. Shift one hip to the side and circle it around. Big circles. Let's reverse direction, going around the other way. And release, okay. So let's take the feet, point them out to the side, and we're gonna bend and straighten the knees. As you do this, if you wanna come and get your chair, go right ahead, holding on to the backrest of your chair, separate your feet out wide, and bend and straighten your knees, okay? Option to hold on as much as you need. Bend and straighten. Now, if your knees don't like bending and straightening, that's okay. Find a bend, just a little maybe, and hold where you are. When your knees are bent, I want you to focus on pressing feet down, squeezing feet together, and lifting up away from the floor, even though you're holding in that bent state. Does that make sense? If you're going up and down, you're squeezing to the middle every time you lift up. Let's take the elbows up and make cactus with the arms. One more breath and all finished. Okay, bring your feet back together and shake them out. This time we're going to take a couple yoga type shapes. We're gonna try warrior two and triangle. I'm gonna have my chair in front of me Separate your feet so they're wider than the back legs of your chair. 
Take your left leg and rotate it so it points out to the left and bend your knee. You could move your other foot back a little if you want. You'll get a wider stretch between your legs. Either one works, okay? You want to be comfortable in your stance. You want to feel like you're strong in your legs. If you feel comfortable to let go of your chair, open your arms and make a strong warrior two. Your left leg is bent. Your right leg is not bent. Have a look over your front hand, your left fingers. Strong here in this shape. You're still pressing down. You're still pulling up through the middle of your body, squeezing your belly muscles to the middle of your spine. And release. Let's take the arms up and straighten both legs parallel to each other. Release to holding on to your chair. To change sides, rotate your right leg this time over to the right and bend your right knee. Spread your feet as wide apart as feels comfortable and stable and supportive to your body. Arms open wide. Maybe one is holding your chair. Maybe one is open. Maybe both are open. That's up to you. Reach out wide. Press your feet into the floor. And breathe, of course. Now try this. Squeeze your feet toward each other and lift up through your perineum, up through the top of your spine, out the top of your head. And release. Straighten both legs. Bring your feet back together just a moment and shake out. Okay, the last one we're going to try is triangle. So we'll separate the feet wide again. They're wider than the backrest of your chair. Rotate your left leg to point to the left. Open your arms, one or both, nice and wide. This time we keep both legs straight. Reach your left arm to the left. Drop your left arm down. Reach your right arm up. Triangle. As we're here, we want to squeeze front to back, sides to the middle, and lengthen out through the top of your head and your fingers on top. If you need to hold on, go ahead. Keep breathing and smiling. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. Okay, let's try the other side. We're going to rotate so the right leg is pointing to the right. Both legs are straight this time. Your left foot points forward, your right foot to the right. Arms open up, one or both. Reach to the right, lower your right arm down and your back arm up. If you need to hold on, by all means, go right ahead. Grab a hold of your chair. Deep breathing here. Press your feet down, pull up and in with your core muscles. Full breath. Release as you rise up, hands to your chair, and parallel your feet again. Okay, shake out your legs. We're gonna finish class with a little balance exercise. Bring yourself to stand to the side of your chair, and we're gonna try tree pose. So we'll stand on your right leg, bend your left knee, come onto your tippy toes of your left foot. Rotate your knee to the side, and anchor your foot against your standing leg. This might work for you. You might want to raise your foot up onto your calf. Don't forget when we take tree pose, we press the two leg parts into each other. Okay, so my foot presses into my straight leg, but my straight leg has to push back. Lift tall. Find deep breathing. Maybe reach one of your arms up into the sky. And imagine your branches can reach high into the sunlight. Big breath in. One more breath. And release. Coming back down. Shake your legs out. We try the other side. Rotating around. 
standing this time on your left leg. Come on to the tiptoes of your right foot. Rotate your knee to the side. Slide your foot up against the side of your standing leg. Press those two parts into each other. The foot can remain on the floor or it can come up onto the side of your calf. They both work. Okay, wherever you are, hands can stay down, holding your chair if you need, or maybe reach one of your hands up to the sky. Maybe both of your hands go up. Keep breathing, pressing down into the floor, pressing both leg parts into each other. Squeeze the belly in and up, one more breath and release. Okay, great job today everyone. Let's come back and sit down in our chair to finish up our class this morning. Thank you for joining me today for improving your balance. Let's have a seat for our final centering. Bring your bottom to sit all the way into the backrest of your chair. Lift your spine tall. Broaden your shoulders. Slide your feet slightly out in front of your knees so they land flat to the ground. Deep breath in. Big sigh out your mouth. As you come to rest, allow your eyelids to lower down a little bit, maybe close all the way. Notice how you're feeling. We'll do a quick body scan with the breath. Breathing into your lungs and your heart space. Breath comes all the way out from that space. Breathe down into your solar plexus. Take the breath up and out and away. Breathe down into the base of your belly, the base of your spine. Exhale from the bottom, up and out. Breathe through the length of your right arm to your fingertips. Pull the breath up from there and out through your head. Other side, bringing down, breathing through your left arm to your fingertips and pull it up and out. This time through the torso, through the right leg to your toes. Pull the breath up from the bottom, through your spine and out your nose. Inhale through your torso, down your left leg to your toes. Up from the bottom and out through your mouth. Inhale again to the base of your spine and the base of your belly. Exhale from the bottom and out. Inhale to your solar plexus. Squeezing the breath out through your nose. Inhale to your lungs and your heart space. Squeeze the breath as you send it away. This time, breathe into your third eye, the space between your eyebrows, and breathe it out. Last one, all the way through the top of your head, and relax, breathe out. Notice how you are feeling today at the end of our time together. Taking the time to regulate your body, to settle your mind and body, is part of your superpower. Bring your palms together in front of your heart, and as you inhale, raise your hands and face up to the sky. Exhale, open your arms wide all the way around and bring your hands back together in front of your heart. Thank you everyone for being here again with me today. I'll see you again next Friday. Namaste.